For the staff at El Paso's Planned Parenthood office, it has been a challenging couple of years. Last March, nearly all abortions were halted in Texas for a month after top state officials, backed by courts, deemed them not medically necessary during the COVID-19 pandemic. Then this month, a new Texas law took effect that bans abortions after a fetal heartbeat is detected at about six weeks of pregnancy and makes no exceptions for cases of rape or incest. Given most women are not aware they are pregnant at six weeks, it amounts to a near total abortion ban, the most restrictive measure in the nation. Well, for Texas, it means 85% of folks who, can't, who need an abortion can't access one now without traveling out of state. This law is not going to end the need for abortion. We're not going to eliminate rapists. That's not how these things work. Sochi Rodriguez is the philanthropy officer in Texas for Planned Parenthood. She fears the legislation will lead to an increase in risky and unsafe abortion practices. All of those pieces of health care should be done with medical supervision um, based on science, forcing people to carry out um, self-managed abortions is, is cruel, um, it's dangerous. The law, however, does not stop with the abortion ban. It's structured to allow private citizens to sue anyone who defies it, from abortion providers to friends or family members who help patients in any way obtain an abortion after the six-week mark and pocket $10,000 if they win. For now, the abortion services centre at this facility remains closed. Instead, the focus is on providing patients with as much support, education and resources as possible. Anti-abortion forces in El Paso see the development as a big win. Mark Seitz is Bishop for the Catholic Diocese of El Paso. Ultimately, abortion really, if you dig deep down, it's not a question of women's rights. It's, it's a, a question of the right of every human being from the time they begin to be within their mother until the time they die. Pro-choice activists in the state are angry, so is the Biden administration. The Justice Department has launched a lawsuit against Texas, calling on courts to invalidate the law as unconstitutional. While even sidestepping for now the Supreme Court's 1973 landmark Roe v. Wade decision that legalized the procedure nationwide. Many more legal challenges are expected as well, as several other states are eyeing similar restrictive moves. The implications of what's happening here in Texas reverberating across the country. Dan Williams, CGTN, El Paso, Texas.